They sprinting away from the 1,000 meter marker, and Good Queen Bess was slow to go as one of the trailers early on. Vivid Jet is very quick, so is Sweet Symphony. Keep the lights on. Maquette in the center of the track. Lady Catherine, Vion Spy, Hawker Typhoon, and October Song. Behind that, Area 51. Good Queen Bess is hopelessly outpaced. Must be six lengths off the leader as they move to the 500 meter. Maquette, Vion Spy, Lady Catherine down the inside of that Sweet Symphony and Vivid Jet. And then further back, October Song, Hawker Typhoon. And Good Queen Bess is going to have to grow wings as they come to the last 200 meters. And it's Maquette, Vivid Jet, Vion Spy. And on the outside, Lady Catherine, Area 51. And Keep the Lights On is also starting to warm up on the inside. It's Vivid Jet, just the leader from Keep the Lights On. Vivid Jet has won it. Maybe Maquette second. Good Queen Bess. Bess really takes off, then keep the lights on. Number three, Viva Jet, Mark Dixon, the visionaire for Clint Larson and Mr. Lynn. And number three pays up 13 rand and 290, Keegan DeMello, and they end up winning by about a length. Second, third, fourth gets very close. Looking down there, let's run it across McKitt. Will probably get second. So Maquette with the red cap and the blinkers will get second. Then maybe number one keep the lights on, but wait for that because number eight is very much alive, was completely outpaced. Good Queen Bears. Then 11, Area 51, Hawker Typhoon, Sweet Symphony, Vion Spy, and October Song. The toad favorite was number eight, and that was Good Queen Bess. Extreme right-hand side was under early pressure, but Viva Jet, the visionaire, Lama Scroll Stud Bread, goes on to record its third win and wins a good contest. It was wide open coming into the last hundred. Toad favorite was number eight. Until the running of the eighth race, back to the studio. Well, it's been a long time since his last won a race, and uh, Clint Lawson and uh, Bruce Lynn have been patient uh, with this uh, daughter of Visionaire. Uh, Lummerskral start Brad and Mark Dixon and Keegan DeMello team up, and the gentleman that takes care of this filly, his name is Patrick. He's done a wonderful job, Patrick. Patrick, you had to wait a long time for your filly to win, but she's done you proud today. So well done. 1,000 Rand Hollywood bets and Gold Circle. Well done. You've been patient as well. But she's done the job for you today. Well done, Patrick. Congratulations. Okay, let's get uh, Keegan in. And uh, yeah, it's been a long time since she's won. But I remember when she started off her career, you know, both yourself and Mark thought that she could go on and win a few. Yeah, we, we always thought she was quite special. And uh, I think Mr. L Mr. Dixon alluded to in the ring, I think it's taken her 15 months to get back to Scottsville. Sure. <laughs> so I think that was the winning move. Just. Um, Obviously, thank you very much to Mr. Dixon. Well done to Mr. Larson and Mr. Lynn for the patience. And uh, we always knew she had it. And um, I'm just glad she's reproduced it today. There was some quality around you, you know, when you had a look at the form, horses that represented some good form in black and white. So it's a big win for her. Yeah, look, I thought um, the filly of Snace was the filly to beat, but I thought I had her at the weights. Um, but yeah, very competitive field. And uh, she just did everything right today. She bounced out quite nicely. And she was always in a good rhythm. And also to quicken it was there. So. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Dixon, again. I don't get to work her. I don't think anyone works other than the boy in the paddock. So, well done to the whole team. Two more races left. Anything from your side? I got a filly in the last um, for Mr. Dixon, Charles Seeker. She won quite well first time out, and um, we put her around the turn last time, and it didn't quite work out. But uh, back down the straight, um, I think she must have sort of a place chance um, because she's got the ability. But we're hoping for the best. Just thank you very much to Mr. Dixon again. Hayley and um, their whole team, and uh, to Mr. Larson, to Mr. Lynn, well done, and to my sponsors, winning form, thank you. You said it all. Well played, yeah. yeah. Keegan DeMendel. Hayley, who's going to join us? Mark's going to join us. Uh, yeah, Mark's going to tell us a bit more. It's uh, Clint Larson, and where in the world is Bruce Lynn? That's the way I like to chat to him. But uh, these two boys have been loyal patrons of yours for many, many years, and they've been patient with you, and you've rewarded them. No, thanks, DJ. Yeah, they probably are my, my two busy supporters over, over the years. Uh, you know, really good guys to train for and, and loyal, and they, they put their hand in their pocket. So it, it's uh, really nice to have two guys like that in the smaller stables. But um, 
the filly, yes, she is very frustrating. She's got a temperament of her own. Early on, we, we did think a lot of her, and that just temperament got to her, and she went off. And um, but literally now, all this horse does at Somerville is trots around the whole place every day. Mm. She works maybe once or twice between races, and uh, she hasn't been here for a long time. Program book and different things going into consideration, but. So her yeah, preparation was good and bringing her back here, as I say, after a hell of a long time, I thought, well, if, you know, if she runs a bad race today, then we really are scratching our heads. But she bounced out and Keegan knows her really well and that makes a big difference as well. You know, fortunately for us, Dean hasn't got many sprinters, so we can always get him. Sure, sure. But seriously, that is, that is the difference. Different race course, same jock, he knows her so well, so, and everything went well, so I'm very, very happy. Who knows, now that she's got her confidence back, I wish you all the best with her, but I'm going to give you a tip. I'm going to give you the winning tip. You've been this quiet because Hayley hasn't been to the track with you. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, yeah, no, she's, she's obviously a massive contribution to the stable, and she's always keen to come. It's just that, you know, she uh, has to provide the taxi service for the kids, or Kerry, so, you know. But um, I thought you were going to mention the rugby for a minute. No, no, that, 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 that we won't put you on the spot for that. But well done, yeah, Mark. And give both uh, Clint and Bruce our best. They've been patient and you've rewarded them. No, I will do. Thanks very much, Dees. Lovely. Mark Dixon there with number three, Vivid Jet, that has come through to win race number seven. Two more to go, races eight and nine. And it could be a winning double for you. That's the bet to play if you want your end of your day on a high.